Aston Villa v West Ham, August 1976, a special day for West Ham fans as this was the day the ICF announced itself to the world. Sorry, after extensive searches, no videos for either the events or the match. Without further ado, we let Andy tell his story of why they did what they did at this game. We were fed up with being called the under fives. Whenever we turned up, Carlton or Bill and the older lads would shout, here they are, the under fives. And although funny for a time, we quickly got fed up of it. So we came up with the idea of the ICF Intercity Firm. We knew the other firms wouldn't be happy with it and certainly wouldn't agree to it unless they had good reason to. The older lads firms had recently suffered two terrible beatings at Liverpool and Sheffield United. I know, can you believe it, Sheffield United? Anyway, what we needed was to show them we can be useful to them. So we devised an audacious plot to take the halter end of Aston Villa in the first match of the season. We got to Villa Park without detection at about 1pm, far too early for the police to notice us. We got into the halter end in twos and threes so as not to attract attention and stood some way apart from each other on the vast terrace. The plan was to all make our way to the back of the stand at 2.50, 10 minutes before kickoff. It was a nervous wait of nearly two hours while Villa fans watched us, not really sure who we were, but we were showing bits of our claret and blue scarves, same colours as Villa, so they must have thought nothing of it. At 2.50 we had grouped together as planned and the roar went up ICF and we flew into the first lot of Villa, who caught by surprise panicked and fled down the steps. As we moved towards them they retreated further, and soon there was a massive gap where thousands had just been grouped together. It's West Ham, someone shouted. We carried on, encouraged by the mayhem we had caused, and we were now in the middle of the halter end, surrounded by 20,000 Villa pooching and kicking anything that got near us. It was at this point a Villa fan shouted, they're only kids, let's do them. And the gap closed in as thousands of Villa fans tore into us, with sheer weight of numbers pushing us down to the front of the stand. Just when it looked like we would have to make Custer's last stand in the bottom corner of the halter, the police arrived, alerted by all the commotion. They formed a cordon to stop further Villa attacks and asked what we thought we were doing. We replied we had innocently gotten the wrong end, and someone asked if we looked like hooligans to them due to our age. They believed it, and moved us out of the halter end, along the pitch and into the Witten stand opposite to the halter end. The halter end was a seething mass by now, all hungry to get revenge and along the side of the pitch we had coins and bottles thrown at us. But the West Ham firms in the Witten greeted us like heroes, all cheering and clapping and saying, Fucking hell lads, you took the halter end on great stuff. That was it. The ICF was formed that very day and went on to become undefeated in 45 years. Did we take the halter end? Not really, but we certainly gave them something to remember us by. Just to be fair, we gave Villa Fan Dave the opportunity to recall his memories of the event, not his real name, voice or photo. The West Ham mob were actually not that big in numbers, about 60 of them. They announced themselves with a cry of ICF and it all kicked off for several minutes until Villa chased them away. They freely admit that they never took the halter, and the general story they churn out is that it was a mob of their younger fans, can't remember under fives, who were trying to make a name for themselves. It was lucky for them that the busies arrived just in the nick of time, as they surely would have been slaughtered, what with 20,000 halter enders on their backs. Then the Larry fuckers acted like they had just won World War III, as they made their way into the wit and end with their mates treating them like bloody war heroes. I was next to them in the Witten so saw everything happen all pretty clear from a safe distance. There's no way they can claim that was a taking of an end. But no doubt they will try, have tried by all accounts. It all kicked off with them on the way to Aston Station after the match I recall as disgruntled. Halty Enders tried to get revenge but to be fair, they more than held their own and was a massive mob. We thank Andy and Dave for their recollection of an amazing event. We don't believe that this can be claimed as a taking of an end but it was certainly an amazing way to introduce the ICF to the world. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell. Not only does it help our shanny grow but also gives you notifications of future videos.